This uh, student cluster competition program is uh, quite a, a, an important uh, event for undergraduate students in predominantly STEM programs within universities in South Africa. Our strategy for this competition is to basically communicate with each other, um, to de-stress at appropriate times and to manage our workload. So two of our team members work very well together and two of our other teammates work very well together. So in appropriate times we divide up the work. The strategy that we have as a team is to configure, being able to configure the hardware, the software and the network as fast as possible so that we can be able to run all the benchmarks that we are given as a team. We as a team, we give each other different types of tasks to do and in doing those tasks we make sure that we communicate to each other so that we can understand the basic tasks that a person is doing. We designed a three node cluster which has 20 cores per node and 32 gigs RAM. We believe that this would give us our optimal solution as to achieving the benchmarks as that is very reliant on interconnectivity between the nodes. We prioritized in our cluster design the core to RAM ratio and the interconnect between our nodes. So they get given a budget and uh, they choose their, their computer hardware based on um, their, their lessons learned from their initial round. Our team plan was to keep the cluster as powerful as we could within the cost limitations of the project. Uh, we've ended up with a slightly more finicky network than we wanted, but we have lots of CPU cores and lots of memory. Due to budget constraints, we had to sacrifice the Melanox switch, which was costly. It was, it was costing a lot of money. So we decided to go for a bigger RAM and two CPUs instead of one, so that we can have parallel computing across the nodes. Ideally, we would, we would have liked to have a switch in our cluster. It makes connectivity a lot easier and we would have reduced the problems we had with the ring topology. But because of our budget, we wanted to maximize the resources that we have on our, on our computers. So we ended up not buying a switch and having to deal with the problems that came with that. Our primary goal, believe it or not, is, is human capital development and the training uh, that we can provide to students. Um, and a secondary goal, obviously, is to compete and do well. So the fact that we do uh, reprioritize uh, our goals compared to our competitors, I think, is, is a good showing of, of how well we can compete regardless. <laughs>